Oh, hey everyone, Joe here, and you're probably wondering where I have been for quite a while. Um, I'm going to start off with where I am now instead. Um, I'm actually on the beach, beach in Perrinporth, Cornwall, um, on a holiday. Much needed, I want to say. Uh, so I'm actually here um, on the beach, ankle deep in water, uh, wearing a wetsuit, um, with a hope to do a bit of bodyboarding later on. It's actually the last day of my holiday. Um, I kind of put off recording and talking about cancer as much as I can. But right, where have I been? Uh, I've had a really rough time, to be honest. I started off with the, the cough, <coughs> as if on cue, and it's honestly been a really horrible experience. I'm hoping the audio is gonna be okay. Using my lav mic, I'm on the beach, so there's gonna be lots of background noise, I am sure, and obviously occasional people in the background, because there's a public beach. Um, although I had to wade through up waist deep water to get to where I am, um, but the tide is on the way out. So, anyway, um, I'm hoping audio is okay. But yeah, I've had a, a cough. My base has been caused by the radiotherapy uh, and possible cancer growth, and it really messed with me mentally, like insanely, like completely um, made me go a little bit weird, I would say, and didn't exactly know how to feel about it all. Uh, but that has been improving. Uh, I've been having codeine uh, linked to some cough syrup, basically. Uh, for the Americans out there, that is exactly what is in syrup, um, or syrup, on, on the streets in America. Um, so it's addictive, which I don't have to worry about because I'm having not, not having it every day. Uh, I don't need it every day, which is good. So that's fine. But yeah, I have this cough. <coughs> and uh, the cough itself has really made me worried and made, had this real concern about um, the future and how things are going to end. Because uh, it's kind of, it was a taste of the end, I would say. You know, it's like a, a hint of how it's going to be. You know, this cough, this tightening, this inability to catch my breath. I was getting out of breath up and down stairs. I still am, a little bit. It's not perfect, but things have improved. Uh, but it's really not, wasn't a good time. I didn't feel like turning a camera on at all. Um, been streaming for a couple of weeks, really tired. Uh, I've also started the cabozantinib as well, which as you guys know, we're waiting to start uh, as part of my washout period. Unfortunately, my washout period was an absolute washout in itself because I ended up uh, with a really bad stomach bug for two weeks where anything I put in would come out very quickly. So that was bad. <coughs> Actually, things like um, give stool samples and have blood tests and to find out what it was because it just wouldn't stop. Um, looked like it was just nothing. It was nothing. So nothing in tests, nothing came out at all. Uh, which was cool, I guess. You know, it's always good when you're sick and no one knows why. But yeah, that was basically it. And that's where I've been, just looking after myself. Relaxing as best I can. Getting plenty of sleep. Plenty of rest. And now here I am on holiday. And I can safely say, I've eaten a lot, which is good. But the Cabo's Antonib, I'm about three and a half weeks in at time of recording. <coughs> <coughs> ah. um, and uh, it's given me sore mouth, expected, tiredness, expected, sore back, expected. Um, and that's kind of it, really. Uh, it's giving me kind of some sore skin around my nose. My nose, my nose is red partially a bit of sunburn on the first day because I'm an idiot and didn't realise it was happening because it was cold. But yeah, that happened. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we are. Um, I had a slight upset stomach one day, but that's kind of it. Um, and one of those common side effects of the Cabo's antidote is an upset stomach. So thankfully, only one day hasn't ruined my holiday. But the sore mouth has been a real problem. So that's something that I'm going to have to talk to my uh, consultant about. As you guys know, I'm being seen at the Royal Marsden, and um, they're looking after me well, which is good. Um, but I'm gonna keep it short, <coughs> mainly because my battery's running out and I can see it. And I am gonna leave you with uh, some scenic pictures of my holiday that I have taken whilst I'm away. So enjoy some birds of prey, uh, enjoy some, uh, some mussels, some barnacles, and uh, hopefully I'll speak to you all very soon and give more an update and kind of, I guess, go more into some bits because, you know what, standing on the beach, 
isn't necessarily the best time to sit down and be all serious, is it, really? But I'm having a lovely holiday, really tiring. I'm not able to do any of the things I want to do, really. Um, but I have managed to get in the water a few times and I've gone bodyboarding a couple of times, including on one day where it was so rough, they shut the beach. <laughs> but we were out there and came in before uh, they told us off. So it's fine. But right, I want to say once again, thank you very much to everyone who's been watching. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, life isn't always as simple as switching a camera on and hit and go. It doesn't work that way. I don't always want to, and I don't always have the energy. Because every time I record one of these, I give myself into it. It isn't like I'm, oh yeah, yeah I'm just doing this, doing that. I try and give you who I am and put my personality across and give you guys some insight about what it's like. And living it and talking about it at the same time can sometimes be tough. And that's probably what the next video is going to be about is me talking about tough stuff. Uh, also, I am planning on doing a live Q&A session fairly soon. I've just hit my five year survival for follicular thyroid cancer, but that's something I've rambled again. But right, because um, you've made it this, this far, um, I'm gonna share a little joke with you. And what did the beach say to the seaweed? Nothing, it just waved. See what we did? Um, so leave me a comment just saying it just waved at the end and uh, hopefully this worked out fine. I have no clue if it didn't. I'll soon find out when I get home. Depends if not you guys even see this. But right, once again, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.